Hi everyone, my name is Amber. I generally make finance content, but today I wanted to make a video about my bucket list hike, the Half Dome in Yosemite. So I hiked Half Dome about two weeks back, and uh, I flew in from New York to San Francisco, and drove to Yosemite, and uh, you know hiked starting at 2:45 in the morning, and then I was back to my truck around five. So it took me around. Uh, around 14 hours to complete the 18 mile hike. Now I know the distance on the website says 16 miles. Somehow my Apple watch said that it was 18 miles and it felt like 18 miles. So I took the mist trail going up and I also took the mist trail coming down. Why? Because uh, I wanted to see the waterfalls and unfortunately when I hiked in the morning, it was too dark to see any of the waterfalls. So going back, so going up, I took the mist trail. Coming back, I took the mist trail. And mist trail is shorter too. It, it's it's shorter by about one and a half miles. So while coming back, you're so tired, you just want to get the hike over with. And that's like the shortest route to take. And it's also cooler. All right. Now, now with that being said, uh, about the permit. So uh, for people who know that Half Dome is one of those hikes that you actually need a permit for. I had not applied the permit at the start of the season, which is in April. So I took my chances. I had applied because you can only apply for permit 48 hours in advance. I wanted to do the hike on a weekday to, you know, to maximize my chances. So I, uh, when I was taking my flight, which was on a Saturday, uh, my flight was at 3.30 p.m. here and landed in San Francisco at 9.30 p.m. So I had filled in my form for you know, application to the lottery on the same day, on a Saturday. And when I landed, I was fortunate enough to get an email that, ha that I had gotten the permit, so, which made me incredibly happy but also uh, which meant that I, would, I, did, I hardly got any rest because I landed at 9.30, I stayed in a hotel for a couple of hours. The next day I went to, I drove to Yosemite, which is about a five hour drive and then a four hour drive. Uh, I went to the ranger station, um, got the status of the trails and then came back and then I slept for a couple of hours and started the hike at 2.45. Um, so I wanted to make this video specifically around, you know, the, the gear that I used. So I was trying to, you know, when I was trying to do, to search for the hike, when I was trying to, you know, look for gears while preparing for this hike, I couldn't find, you know, uh, good videos which actually showed that, okay, what gear you should use. Like, I know, uh, like, like I, I, I wanted to carry the harness with me, even though I, uh, even though, you know, I may have used it, may not have used it, you know, that was like in my back of mind, I did end up using it. Uh, there was uh, there was no ranger at the at the base so you know I say many people say that okay don't use the harness I somehow was not feeling very safe without the harness so I did end up using it and uh, it was a good decision for me I mean it's it wasn't that I fell or you know slipped or anything of that sort uh, but it was a good decision it just it just helped me feel safe so let me show you the gear that I use and uh, towards the end I've made a three minute video it's almost a four minute video of showing my entire trip, uh, starting from here to Yosemite, and the hike up and down. Uh, so hopefully you know, hopefully you enjoy it. So this is the gear that I used, and uh, which I think is like you know important if uh, you're planning to do the hike partly at night and partly in the morning to avoid the sun. So let's go through it. So the first things first is your good hiking shoe. So I have the Salomon hiking shoe. Uh, the one thing that helps, I mean, my shoe has some paint on it, so sorry for that. The one thing that helps on the trail is like a good grip. You know, I have the Salomon, I have the La Sportiva. I prefer the Salomon because it has really good grip. The next is the hiking poles. Now, I generally don't use hiking poles in my smaller hikes, but for half dome, you are climbing ladders a lot. Or you know, our ladders meaning like, you know, stone cut ladders, you will be climbing a lot and just, having um, a good a pair of hiking poles which definitely helps the next two thing is what helped me a lot especially on the uh, on the in, in the half dome itself uh, this is the ferrara system which is basically a carabiner system uh, and which attaches to the harness this is the harness and both of them are from a company called pretzel i'll leave a link of all of this in the description of this video uh, so this harness you can wear it and I'll and and uh, shortly I'll show you how to wear this and this you can attach it to the harness so when you're climbing up you're basically attaching it to the cable and then you're going up and then similarly while coming down now this can hold up to 280 pounds so it's a pretty pretty strong um, you know carabiner assisted, asset system the next is the water system now this many people prefer carrying water bottles I, or camelbacks uh, I unfortunately don't have a camelback I have a hiking bag that is here uh, so what I did was uh, I filled this up. This was a three-liter. This is a three-liter 
system and this turned out to be fantastic like this kept the water cold because it was inside my backpack i filled it with chilled water and i added some hydration tablets to it and this was perfect like it you know i took this and then i took uh, three gatorades with me which lasted me throughout the day and gave me energy all all the while the next is the gloves the gloves are super important for hiking the cables because the cables are bare you definitely need the gloves uh, these gloves were something that you know i've hacked in before with and they were awesome and the last is a set of headlights now if you're planning to hike you know in sun then you don't need the headlights but still recommend you carry them but if you want to take a break and if it gets you know it gets um, dark then these come in handy so let me show you how the harness and the ferrara system works so this is the harness um, you have two you have two leg holes and then you have this which goes around your hips so let's just wear this and i'll show you how it works So here you are, basically tighten it, get it around your hips, and then you tighten it where it's like, it's sitting very, it's sitting like comfortably on your hip, and then you tighten these legs. So this is your harness, and then you have the Ferrara system. So this loop then goes inside here like this. And then you have to pass this entire stuff from here yep that's your system so when you're climbing you basically just take this carabiner now these carabiners are like you know they are they're like automatic so when you when you click on them they automatically go up so there's no risk of like you know automatic you know like uh, opening up without you actually wanting to open them so you just push it and it opens so when you go to the cables you just press it down press it you so, so you you put this one harness put the other harness and then you walk up the cables and then when you hit the pole you just take it one arm put in the next pole put in the next set of harness put in the next set of the cables and this one again you transfer it over and then you keep on hiking uh, it's very reliable and it definitely helped me overcome my fears of uh, you know climbing the half tomb i uh, hope this helps Next up is the point of view video that I made for my entire hike. It's a four minute video. Now parts of the video were made using the Insta360 camera, which is a new camera that I bought for my hiking. Um, it's actually effortless to record through this. Like you can just wear this bracelet and you know, you can, you can attach it to the magnetic camera here and records everything in 4K. It has a five hour uh, battery life. It comes with this, uh, it comes with this attachment which has a battery grid in itself and you can just put it here and it just keeps on charging it. You can do a point of view video through here or you can do a point of video through here so you know i have a full review video i'll i'll leave a link in the description of this video it's a great camera if you want to use it for your hiking and record everything now the one mistake which i did was that while hiking the cables i had moved this camera from my chest to my cap and i had initially thought that you know i would i had pressed it on only when i realized that i, that I was in summit that i had not and it's a repent that I have to live with for my rest of my life, but it is what it is. So yeah, hope you enjoy the video. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> no, there are very many. There are a couple of people cross me. So. Oh, very good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. Okay. Yeah, you'll you'll probably meet them. Yeah, I'm a slow. I'm a slow hiker. No, you're not. There shouldn't be anyone behind you for like. 
lose half of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun today. Yeah, you too. Take care.